Hey guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a carpet family in Revit. Now you will be doing this just by downloading a carpet image from online and then loading it into Revit and using it to create your own carpet family. But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make videos like this every day. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and if I minimize it, you can see here I have just this old style carpet image that I've downloaded. And just Google carpet and you'll find a bunch of these. So I'm going to go here in Revit now and I'm going to be starting a architectural template first. Now you'll see why. Because I don't really know the proportions of this image and I don't know how to size it accordingly for my carpet. And to figure that out I need to load it in here. So I'm just going to go to insert and search for image and then I'm going to download it or basically load it in and here is my carpet open it up and just place it like this. Now I'm just going to set the units to something I can work with and I'm just going to choose the centimeters, hit OK, OK and now let's select it. Now if I go here into the measure tool and measure it you can see this is way too large, it's like 28 meters and now we need to scale it. So I'm just going to select it and type in RE for scale and then go here for graphical, select this part, select this part and then shrink it to something workable. So let's try 300 centimeters. Okay, so this looks like a realistically sized carpet. And now let's measure it. So it's 300 lengthwise and it's 202 centimeters width wise or whatever. Okay, so now let's create our family using this image. So I'm just going to go here to new family and then for the family, I suggest you use generic floor based because usually you're going to be placing your carpets on the floor. So I'm going to open this up and you get something that looks like this. Now we need to create our extrusion that will be our carpet. So I'm just going to go here to extrusion and rectangle and like place it like so. And now we need to set the dimensions. So just select one of these sides, change this dimension line and this will be 1500 or let's just change it to centimeters to make it easier to work with. So centimeters, okay, okay, so this is 150, this should be 300, and this height proportion, should. this should be 101, and this should be 202. Okay, so we have our carpet geometry. And let's just change the extrusion end to 0.5 centimeters or 5 millimeters. That's quite thin, perfect for a carpet. And now let's create just a little rubber outskirt you see on some carpets just on the outside, just to make it look more realistic. So again, another extrusion, start off with what you already have and then give it an offset of, I don't know, 1.5 centimeters and then create it like so. And here for the extrusion end, just go with 0.25 and then go finish. Now, once this outskirt is selected, here you can select it and let's change the material. So this I'm just going to use some rubber material. So uh, let's find black, black rubber material. Uh, let's use silicone, I don't care. Go OK. And now if we go into realistic, you can see we have this rubber outskirt. Now let's select our actual carpet family and we need to add the material. So go here to material and you need to find the default material or whichever other material you want to use and you want to right click and duplicate it. And you need to call it your carpet. So I'm just going to name it my carpet. And the reason why I added my is not because it's important that it's mine. It's because there is already a carpet material here in Autodesk materials. So if you name your material the same way that an existing material is named, you will get some problems and Revit won't be able to figure out which material you want to use when you load it in your project. So once we have our new material named, some name that doesn't already exist, we need to load the image. So I'm just going to go here to appearance and here we have this image tab. Now you can load in your image and you choose your carpet image and you can see this doesn't really look right. If we change the scene to 
let's say wall yeah that's not what I quite had in mind now how do you change this so what you need to do is you need to go here to uh, image open this drop menu and go edit image open this up wait for a second and here we have our image now you can see these dimension lines they're giving you the dimensions of the image and they're really not correct so you need to go here to scale and you need to unconstrain this because you already know the proportions and the dimensions of your image because we did that figured that out in the project so let's turn this to 300 and this to 202 go finish and yeah that's what you get you can see these dimensions but you can see when this carpet is finished there's another one over here so we don't want that so here for this repeat just turn it off go to none okay now it's going all the way to the ends of the image here and as far as position is concerned this actual position is telling you where will the carpet be placed now an offset of 0 and 0 might make sense for you but when you actually have your geometry in Revit let's say this is our carpet geometry this 0 0 is the center of your face or basically material face so or geometry face so if this is 0 0 we need to move this point over here and how do we do that we need a minus offset on the y on the x axis and we need a minus offset on the y axis so on the x we need minus 150 and on the y we need minus 101 so here for the offset on the x I'm going to go minus half of our carpet which is 150 and for the y I'm going to go minus 101 which is half and this might not look right but don't worry when we load it in the actual project it will make sense so just go done and here for the glossiness I'm just going to turn this down I don't really want any glossiness an image fade you can use it or not I prefer not to have it and here make sure the highlights are non-metallic because this is a non-metallic material okay you just go apply okay you click out and there you go it's perfectly positioned on your face or geometry face not your face <laughs> okay so let's just load this into project and test it out to see how it works so you just go load into project and here we are and as you can see we can't place it anywhere so let's delete this image we don't really need it and let's create a floor so just go floor rectangle place a floor okay and now let's go into component and here we have our carpet so you just place it around go into 3d and as you can see we can't really see it but don't worry if we go here into realistic it looks better so that's how you create a carpet family in revit thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for future tutorials please leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day